This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. We're back. We need to straighten up because we have to introduce some really good shows, really good stories on the show. <laughs> Here we this go again. This is straight as we get. All right. Yeah. So, well, we were talking um, a couple of weeks ago about the fact, you know, that when I mentioned that I had moved out to Oakley and, you know, on the high plains, this one lady said, oh, I love the Flint Hills. And while the Flint Hills are lovely, um, that's not all of Kansas, and it's not all the hills in Kansas. Mm -hmm. And the Smoky Hills is really quite extensive. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. And then I think uh, next week we um, hope to do the Chautauqua Hills. We did the Jip Hills last week. Um, we've got we got some amazing hills in in Kansas. We do. And I got to tell you, Doctor Jake has this amazing app on his phone, and I don't know who what this app is, but it's a barometer and an altimeter. So as we're driving along on the road, I, you know, I'm like, give me your phone and I'll check the altitude and see how, you know, big it is. Did I do a promo for this already? They should send me royalties. <laughs> Not only do we deserve an Emmy, we deserve royalties for all the people That's that we're right. pitching here we on the no show. We have no shame. None. <laughs> none. None. Zero. <laughs> So yeah, if you buy one of those, you let me know so I can I can write the company. But that is the coolest app. And you know, when you're going all over the state and you're looking at, you know, the change in altitude, flat Kansas, nope. Nope. It's not. Hmm. It's not. No. No. I know you're gonna do smoky hills. Smoky and hills. And as an historian, surely in that story you have why they're called the Smoky Hills? I sure hope so. <laughs> I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Let's take a look and see. Deeper seas than those of the gypsum hills formed the Cretaceous Age outcroppings of rock that characterized the Smoky Hills of north central Kansas. According to the Kansas Geological Survey, three principal rock outcrops characterized the Smoky Hills. The sandstones of the Dakota Formation, the limestones of the Greenhorn Limestone Formation, and the thick chalks of Niobrara Chalk. The Dakota Formation sandstones crop out in a wide belt from Rice and McPherson counties in the south to Washington County in the north. They are the remains of beach sands and sediments dumped by rivers draining into the early Cretaceous seas. The hills and buttes, like Coronado Heights, are capped by this sandstone. The next outcrop belt to the west is the Greenhorn Limestone, which is made up of thin, chalky limestone beds alternating with thicker beds of shale. The Greenhorn Limestone was deposited in a relatively shallow part of the Cretaceous Sea. Near the top of the Greenhorn is Fence Post Limestone, used for building and fences due to the lack of wood. The westernmost range of hills developed on the thick chalks of the Niobrara Chalk. These beds were deposited in a deeper part of the Cretaceous Ocean and are exposed in bluffs of the Solomon, Saline, and Smoky Hill Rivers. Pinnacles, spires, and odd-shaped masses, such as Castle Rock and Monument Rock in Gove County, are characteristic of those formations. It is in these outcroppings that the fossils of swimming reptiles, like mosasaurs and plesiosaurs, have been found. The Smoky Hills are extensive and there are several places to visit to learn more. In addition to the museums like the Sternberg and Hayes or the Fick Fossil Museum in Oakley, the Fort Wallace Museum, the Russell Springs Museum, El Cuartalejo in Scott City, and Ottawa County Museum in Minneapolis offer fossils and related exhibits. To observe the landscape itself, besides Castle and Monument Rocks, there's Rock City, Mushroom Rock State Park, Canopola State Park and the scenic byways that crisscross the area. Buffalo Bill Cody earned his legendary title in Oakley. Bring the family and come celebrate Oakley's pioneering history and unique geography at two sites, the Buffalo Bill Cultural Center and the Fick Fossil Museum. Cody's statue marks his achievements and welcomes visitors to the Cultural Center. The Fick Fossil Museum houses world-class fossils and artifacts. You'll find Oakley at the hub of U.S. Highways 83 and 40 and I-70. Stop for the legend. Stay for the day. Discover Oakley.